I think fundamentally one of the things we need to do is, is change the culture in our communities in terms of helping our families to understand the value of education. And there's no question that we all need to be focusing our attention on our young folks and figuring out how to help them be as successful as possible. My goal, I guess, for Douglas County would be that 100% of children are ready to learn at age five. Adopting a community-wide vision and strategy for education is a difficult task under the best circumstances, much less for a rural county where unemployment is high and incomes are below average. But in Douglas County, with Oregon Community Foundation support, there is a motivated network of people determined to set a new course. We know as nonprofits the importance of the early years, the importance and the investment in early childhood, the long-term benefits of investing in young children and their education. It takes a whole community to get on board with a project of this scale to really affect some change in a community. So when we start talking about early childhood education, um, we estimate that unfortunately in the small rural communities where poverty is even greater, as many as 70 to 80 percent of our children are coming to school unprepared for the experience. And that's just a daunting challenge for our educators. In the fall of 2011, business and civic leaders held a summit to address the issue of early childhood education. The summit was funded by the Whipple Foundation Fund of OCF. Mildred Whipple really was a part of a pioneering family and they were very much uh, hardworking folks and uh, had a very successful business and really loved and believed in this county. She, towards the end of her life, uh, decided to take a significant amount of her uh, resources and put it into an advised fund of the Oregon Community Foundation and targeted it for Douglas County and specifically around lifelong learning. So there are five of us that were asked to be a part of that current advisory committee. And I think the committee itself really grabbed onto early childhood as a key for families, a key for economic vitality, a key for Douglas County going forward. The current initiative is important because I, I think it goes back to that old saying of it takes a village to raise a child. And you really want to step up and help the birth through K-12 students because they are going to be our workforce of the future. So really we're investing now for um, the future workforce. So I see that as something that business should automatically do. We had an economy here that didn't require a lot of post high school training. A lot of the historic jobs in the mills and the woods, uh, you, could, you could go to those without more than a high school diploma. Uh, that, that's changed now and employers who are seeking to relocate here, employers outside the county who would be employing our graduates want a level of technical training that we really need to start emphasizing more. So we have a, a cultural issue to address at both ends of the spectrum. Twenty years ago, Douglas County resident Faye Madison set up a charitable fund at OCF to help students further their education. Faye went to college during the Depression, and he ran out of money after one semester, and so that gave him a real passion for, for higher education. And so when he started this Madison Charitable Fund, he asked me to chair it because I had an, uh, a bachelor's degree. <laughs> Faye's father was 16 years old when he drove a, uh, a wagon team from Nebraska uh, along with his father and then they purchased a property in the Kellogg area and that's where they've been ever since, since about 1895. And uh, he was a remarkable man. He was interested in all the students that he funded. What were they up to? What were they doing? What were they doing with their degree? So we are really excited and proud of the, the scholarships that we make available to the North County students. Thanks to a strong history of community support, momentum is building in Douglas County. Douglas County is, is something I hadn't experienced. Uh, the commitment uh, 
even though there is high poverty in the county, there's a philanthropic presence that's, that's just amazing and a, and a willingness to get involved and be supportive. I think there's some wonderful things are going to happen here uh, that the rest of the state is going to take notice of.